Welcome to CalRTA's short tutorials. My name is Sue Breyer and today I'm going to take you through how to share a document or a PowerPoint in a Zoom meeting. Now as you can see, I have shown you here my empty desktop on my computer. The easiest way to share a document or PowerPoint on Zoom is to have that document or PowerPoint open on your desktop and ready to go even before you begin your Zoom meeting. So if I want to open this PowerPoint, I simply click on it and make sure that it is minimized. This is full screen. This is minimized. I want to keep it minimized on my screen. And if I want to use this newsletter, it too needs to be open on my screen. That's full screen. This is minimized screen. So now that my documents are ready, I'm ready to open my Zoom meeting. I'm going to open it with my Google Chrome. I have my Zoom account bookmarked at the top of my menu here. Sign in with my Google account. I'm going to expand my page to full screen. I'm going to go ahead and simply host a meeting right now with my video on. And enter full screen. Now that my meeting has started, I can go ahead and share my screen. I go down to share screen down at the bottom here. And as you can see, here is my newsletter that I have open on my screen. And over here is my PowerPoint. Let's start with the newsletter. I simply click on the newsletter that I want to share, and I click the blue Share button. Now I can move these, minimize these others. And notice that this document has a green band around it, a frame. That means that this is the one I'm sharing. Right now, I want to make this full screen. Now I can share this document. I can scroll through. I can point out particular articles that I am speaking about. And when I am done, all I have to do is click Stop Share. Now this toolbar here, by the way, is movable. I can move this toolbar wherever I like on my screen. This too over here, this thumbnail video of the speaker is also movable. Again, all you do is hold down your mouse, the cursor, and move it to wherever you feel is comfortable. Now I'm ready to stop sharing this document. So I'm going to go down here and click Stop Share on my toolbar. And I'm back to my regular screen. Now remember, I have my PowerPoint too that I'd like to show. So once again, I'm going to go down here to Share Screen and click the green Share Screen. I'm going to locate my PowerPoint. It's right here. I'm going to click on that and click Share. Now I don't need my newsletter in the back, so I can minimize that. Now I just have my PowerPoint ready. Notice the green boxes around it that identifies the document that you plan to share or are sharing, and you make sure that you maximize that document. Now you don't want to keep it in this format when you're sharing a PowerPoint. 
basically your audience does not want to see all of the PowerPoint slides on the left hand side. You want this to be a slideshow. To do that, you're going to go up to the top on your menu bar and click slideshow and go over to the far left from beginning. Now all I have to do is click my cursor anywhere on the screen to advance the slides. Once my slideshow is done, I'm ready to stop sharing. I go down again to my toolbar and I click the red stop share button. And I'm back to my screen. Now if you forgot to open documents on your desktop prior to sharing, or there's another uh, uh, document that you'd like to share, you can still do that. You go down to the share screen, but this time you're going to go up to this top left. This is your screen or on some computers it will say desktop. So I am going to click on that and then click share. Oh, I need to get out of my PowerPoint. So here's my desktop. So perhaps I want to share a newsletter from a different division. So I need to find that or I can go down to any of my folders that I have and I can find a document that I'm looking for. So if I would like to share this document, I just open it up and I'm sharing it. Again, this is already in full screen. When I'm done, I can close that document if I need to find another one. All I have to do is check my folders, locate the document, and then open it. When I'm ready to stop sharing, as I am right now, I go to Stop Share, and I'm back in my Zoom meeting. And that's all there is to sharing a document or a PowerPoint during a Zoom meeting.